Hey everybody, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. My name is Bear. I'm gonna use the convict today. I've been doing a couple of uh, practice runs off camera here, trying to get a little bit better, a little bit less sucky at the game. And uh, I've been favoring Hunter and Pilot for the most part. The convict, though, she's got the spacebar item that is, you know, actively useful with that Molotov cocktail. And I think I'm gonna be trying to use that a little bit more effectively here. Uh, pretty damn good start just now. Actually, made, yeah, really quick work of that room. That was really effective. I can't walk through this, though, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that fire is just as lethal to my enemy as it is to me. There we are. Yeah, she's got, I mean, the sawed-off shotgun to start off with as well. Certainly nothing to scoff at. She's got a pretty good set. Oh, that, that, wow. <laughs> just, just shoot me. Jeez. She's got a pretty good set. Really, Bear? That's the... This is the sexist diatribe we're gonna come to expect from you now? Goodness. I just got a good set of gear. That's what I meant. Jeez. Gee willikers. What a goof. What a gaff off the start here. Unbelievable. Alright, the budget revolver I actually kind of prefer too. It seems like they all sort of have like their little version of the pea shooter. Out of the get, get or out of the gate here, but I like this one. Quite a bit more than most of the other ones I've used. Oh, nearly Molotov time again here. Let's see if I can maybe, uh, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to wait this out, so I suppose I'll just have to use my good old-fashioned bullets as the good Gungeon Gods intended. Check out those iframes, hell yeah. Uh, should I try to, I'm gonna try to crush him with a chandelier, hold on. I gotta at least give this a good old-fashioned Honest College try. Unless I can't find the plunger for it. There it is! Nice! I totally meant to do that! Everything I intended to go that way went that wrong well did that. Yeah. Yippee! I did it! Okay, room clear. A valuable one at that, although... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, we're all good. Shop time. What do you got? Med kit. No thanks. Now I've heard tell that this little dude uh, will just eat the guns that you drop for him. I'm not gonna do that now, but uh, apparently he pays out with casings. So that's very interesting, and I have to keep that in mind for the future. Be a very good way to uh, perhaps prime us for that primer again that uh, apparently is completely useless to me at this stage. Something designated for like the, the later game trials, which I am, unfortunately, not even close to touching. I'm something like 2% of the way through this game. Which is just absurd. Like, I, I have a decent chunk of playtime. Certainly not even close to the amount that a lot of people have amassed up to this point. But, you know, that is just blowing my mind. So I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm excited to see what else is in store for us here. I imagine there's probably a few new characters to choose from. Ooh, armor is very good. Thank you very much. Hopefully we can, uh... Keep avoiding the damage here, doing okay in that respect, too. My first floor has gotten better. I feel like I, I have a much more thorough understanding. A mastery, if you will, or at least I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, trying to obtain one for this floor. Oh god, yep, there we go. Uh, now give me uh, just a few moments here while I make sure that I don't take damage to... Mr. Goddamn Giant Sword! Oh, these things again, too. There it is. Okay. Splendid. This is going smoothly. I like the convict. Yeah, this is... This is a character that I ought to, I ought to utilize more. Right, good cash as well. 50 casings here. This is nice. Looks like it's gonna be a chest room right here, and I do have a key for it. Oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. I thought maybe. Nice table block on that N. That fucking consonant didn't know what was coming. Giant wooden plank up in your face. Hell yeah. Okay, nothing else remains to be seen here. Let's just go ahead and jonk on up this way. Check out the remaining room. Looking good, otherwise supplies are in good shape. Oh god, he's probably the multiple letter sort of guy, isn't he? Or is it just the more complex stuff? Yeah, you thought an N was tricky. How about an O with a line through it? Won't that blow your fucking mind? Oh goodness. Hello there. Drum clip. Increased magazine capacity for all guns. Well, look at that! 
That is very handy, actually. That's going to be exceptionally useful for everything. Just about everything. That is a really good upgrade. I think that's going to be uh, increase the capacity for the revolver as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think we got a couple more shots out of that. Well, alrighty. Fine by me. Still saving the sawed-off shotgun here, too. It might be a better idea for these rooms with a bunch of smaller enemies, but... It's also nice to just have it in my back pocket. But let's, uh... Let's wield it for a second or two here, as I do enjoy the, uh... Lack of damage we've taken up to this point. Uh, which I suppose indicates that I should stick with what's been working, but... You know, that makes way too much sense for me to utilize. <laughs> no! Apply logic and reasoning! What madness is this? I might want to get a key for this. I could use another gun, I think. I'm going to go do it, yeah. Now that I know I'm not really inclined to save up my money too much, this se certainly seems like a much more lucrative purchase. Although, unfortunately, I do have to make the long, shameful trek all the way back. Oh, the agony. Oh, the horror. It's maddening. Okay, we made it. Nice. Wind it up, gun. I think I've had this one before, haven't I? Decreases in damage output as the climp empties. Oh, you gotta wind it. I see. All right, so you only wanna... I love that. It's a jack-in-the-box gun. Oh, my goodness. That's great. The novelty is worn off already, I'll admit. It's gone now. <laughs> but to hear the rest of it will just be an agonizing display of that novelty. But all the same, I like it quite a bit. Let's go take care of some business with it. Oh, we know him well. Gatling goal! Okay, we gotta wind it up. So we do less damage the lower end of the clip we get. Which totally sucks for a boss fight, I think, actually. You know what? Yeah, this is not a good item to use for this. So we're gonna have to go to Sod Off, I think, for this fight. Although, you know what? This is also a bad idea. Tell you what, let's just stick with the thing we're using here. It seems to be pretty damn effective. I mean... I don't know how much damage we're looking at with the budget revolver. Maybe I should check it out, but... The distance on this one is pretty good. The accuracy is actually not bad at all. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and stick with this for now. It's hitting him pretty damn hard. Yeah, I like this well enough. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. Keep the distance. Oh, well, now we're doing fine. Eyes on the floor. Eyes on the floor. Still going to be sitting there. Okay, oh, this is not a good spot, though. Keep it clear. We have our blanks. Got to remember that. Doing good, doing good, doing good. Keep it up. Do I want to use all my ammo here? That's something I'm going to have to consider as well. How about we just try the uh, sawed-off shotgun for a couple of shots here? Uh, blank! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that was close. Yeah, I think if he launches the missiles again. Yeah, here we go. This is shot-off shotgun time. Good opportunity. Although I got to be aware of when he's going to switch. There we go. So close. Get out of here. Off to the budget revolver just to make sure. Nice. Oh, nice and clean. I like that. Oh, that feels good. Couple of hegemony, or, yeah, hegemony credits. Grab some armor. A little bit of floor mastery for the first chamber round. And we'll grab the wind-up gun ammo as well. Gamma Ray. I think I've had this one too, maybe it sounds familiar. This archaic laser has been studied for centuries. Gun genologists can only conclude that it was used by primitive people to poison each other with radiation. Icky. Okay, well, health is looking really good. We got full ammo on the wind-up gun. I think the entire floor has been excavated. Let's get going, baby. Down to floor two. This has got to be the best I've felt about a first floor probably ever in Gungeon, so... Let's watch it all collapse beneath my feet, shall we? Or at least that's the assumption I'm gonna make. So if we can find a way to be able to reload this gun faster, that would just be a godsend. I know there's like an active reload item in this game, or something that allows you to begin using active reload, which is interesting. So if, they, if we can get something like that, that would certainly be nice. Oh, I gotta remember she's got her Molotov as well. Don't want to forget about utilizing that. 
Still got two blanks. No keys right now. Let me be on the lookout for that. Is this a piercing shot? Oh my god. That would be insane. Oh, you can see it's much, much weaker as you get through to the uh, bottom of the clip there, though. That is... There's the indication. I'm glad that has a visual indicator as well. That's really nice. I, I like this gun. I said the novelty wore off pretty quick, but I am a... I'm a fan at the moment. It's done us wonders, at least. Alright, let's check out the gamma ray. Let's see how effective this is going to be. Poison damage over time. That's fine by me. Not incredibly effective as just a straight-up damage dealer, it seems. Oh, God. All right, we gotta get out of here. Goodness! The distance, obviously, is a huge help. It's not too bad, I guess. I think this is more designed uh, to... You, you use this against, like, a boss or somebody with a bunch of health, and you can just... Lay on the poison super fast, and then switch to a different gun and deal the damage that way. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay, I sort of expected that. Damn it. Nice knockback. There we go. Sticking with the budget revolver here. I, I think we can hang on to the wind-up gun for now. Oh, shit. There we go. Get the cube. Get the cube first. There's the sniper. Yeah, wait for it. Nice. Fucking Matrix, baby! Okay, this is blocked off. Let me, uh, just schmoozy on over this way. Still got one piece of armor, so we're looking good health-wise. Just, just take it easy here. Oh, oh, might be, might be heavier gun territory here. Let me try my damnedest to get through this with the revolver, but I'd be okay with, I'd be totally fine with using some specialty ammo there. That dude is tough. Tough to get a bearing on. There we go. This is one of those, like, this is a Necrodancer style game for me, man. I can't remember actually if I've even said this before, but it's, it's the kind of game that really just is so difficult to commentate over, at least for me. Oh, a key is probably going to be worth taking here. I can't take the primer right now. At least I, I assume I shouldn't be taking the primer right now. I probably have use for that later. Okay, good. Ooh, giant floor trap room here, which means there's probably some goodies on the other side. If I had to guess, and I would be wrong about that. I would be completely wrong. I'm tempted to use a blank because it seems like there should totally be something here, but there's not. There is something there, though. Oh, okay. Well, let's go grab that key then. I think it's worth it for the, uh, for the potential here. Curious enough to see. Go bam, bam, bam. I don't think you even necessarily need to roll there, but it's for safety's sake. Void Marshal. Compact but highly accurate, the Void Marshal is a favorite of smugglers and rogues across the galaxy. Interesting. We'll have a look here. Going through this floor pretty methodically, which is nice. Still got our cocktail in the back pocket as well, gotta remember that. Oh, that's good damage. That is real good damage there, not the greatest accuracy, the range looks pretty good. That thing hits hard, though. That's real nice. Low ammo as well. Okay. Gotta keep that in mind. Let's let's uh, put that one off to the side here. I'm gonna utilize our sawed-off shotgun for a while. It's got decent ammo, decent damage. Certainly uh, capable of handling the slimes and whatnot. Feels good here. Bam. Bam. Get, get it. Go! Oh, God, I can't believe I actually dodged that. Wow. Right into the wall. Beautiful. And pop. And pop. And pop. There it is. Just wasn't sure if he was my father for a while there. Just had to keep confirming. Pop! Pop! No! No, alright. Worth a shot. Oh boy, okay. I am going to go ahead and let him do his dance a couple of times here. Get a little bit closer to us. Oh, and there's the goddamn armor. Son of a bitch. Alright. The convict bonus damage as well, which I actually ended up uh, being a little bit of a godsend there to take care of that big guy early on. Oh, I want to hang on to my health though. Do not want to lose that just yet. So let's get a slightly better gun to handle this room. It's be a little tougher. I just want to poke you with it. Just a little poke. 
Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Still got a little ways on this floor left to go. I'm kind of worried now. What is that? That looks new. I just maybe haven't noticed the... Oh, no. This looks different. 20. Shrine to Icasa Ica Hedrax, the Great Arbiter. Roll the bones. Yeah. Roll of the dice. Enfeebled plus hasted. Can I... Wait, what? Is that just a permanent thing now? That just happens forever. The spirits that once inhabited this shrine have departed. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty quick now. Whoa. Okay. But I lost health. Oh, I see. So there's a little trade-off made with that shrine. Interesting. But that is pretty goddamn useful, actually. I am so fast now. Wow. That's probably going to be insanely useful in boss fights. Yeah, that's going to make avoiding damage a hell of a lot easier. At least I think so. You shall find out. It's making the floor traps a lot easier to deal with, too. Oh, that was bad. Ah, that was bad. That was bad. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, we will find out in this floor, assuming I'm able to uh, free myself of damage in the boss fight as well. Whether or not the, uh, the mastery is dependent upon taking damage throughout the rest of the floor. I really hope it's not. Let's let's go ahead and use the Gamma Ray for a little while here, I guess. Seems to be doing okay. It's got a decent knockback on it, too. Yeah, the damage on it's not that bad. You know what? This is a... This is a hell of a weapon here, I think. The dodge roll is much slower now, too. Ah, okay. There's the other opportunity for a key, unfortunately. I would love to find another one here. Don't have the cell key, either. Oh, that's unfortunate. Damn it. Alright, let's find the goodies. There's a shrine here as well, jeez! A lot going on here, shit! I'm missing out on some opportunities! I'm hoping for the boss. Okay, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, this could... This is a good time for this to happen. Let's go, baby. Ammo Conda, I can do it! Alright. So he does not appear to get poisoned, but my speed, as I anticipated, is an insanely valuable asset here. I think I'm going to try to do something else. So, okay, oh, hold on, hold on. I think maybe the poison is landing now. Yep. That looks a lot better. I can't kill that thing, can I? Ooh, void martial damage really good as well. All right, let's stick with this. Oh, God, wow, yeah, that's a good plank opportunity. I think I'm just going to leave his little uh, rock dudes on the floor B. I'm just going to try to keep my distance here because I've got some range on my weapons. Oh my god. There we go. Keep eyes on him. Eyes on him. There we go. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Holy shit. Okay, that's unfortunate. There's the boss damage. I might be able to kill this one really quick if I can hit it a couple of times here. Worth it to try. There we go. Nice. Big hits. All right, let's try uh, something else here. Maybe a budget revolver to finish him off. Save a little bit of our ammo. I think we're good. Nice! All right, not as well as it could have gone, but I'll take it. There's our cell key as well. Full health. Ah, I got the goddamn vertebrae. Goddamn vertebrae. We will go here for sure. Thank you very much. Hello! A holy young knave has rescued us from our confinement. How unexpected and amusing! Good show, young slinger! We are certain that we shall see thee soon! Cometh along, man Cervantes! <sighs> that looks almost... that is like a, a spitting image of... Oh my god, the name is gonna slip my mind now. Futurama, Green Dude, Dates Amy... God damn it, what is his name? What is his name? No! No, what has happened to me? What is his name? Oh, God, I can't do it! It's not coming! I am drawing a complete blank. Oh, man, it's gonna... Uh, it's gonna... It's gonna bother me at least for the rest of this episode, if not for the rest of the day. Son of a bitch, at least until I can Google it later. You know what? I'm doing it now, fuck it. Who is the... Who is... The green dude in Futurama. Google, help me out. That was not a good thing to Google. 
Son of a bitch. All right. No time. We got a we got a dungeon to run. <laughs> still, I still can't think of it. All right. Well, at any rate, we've got a really good gun here now, and I am uh, feeling pretty confident about this. We got armor as well. A couple of good guns here, honestly. I've got some poison to dish out from something else. I should hang on to my extra ammo for this as well. So let's go with. Uh, let's use. Let's use this just to clear out this room, just because I've sort of committed to it now. And uh, we gotta kill these guys as well. There we go. My God, that's a frightening room right there. Very good. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to hang on to that ammo for now. So I think a sawed-off shotgun's probably okay. With this extra speed, man. I mean, geez, this is. Ideally, we're not going to have to use too much of our good ammo to really do much. Oh, good shot, though. Damn it. Well played. Well played, buddy. I can respect that. Somebody leading his shots. That's, uh, that's old Halo PC knowledge right there, man. You got to accommodate for that lag. I wonder if he just dies eventually. It looks like he's just going to burn himself to death if I do nothing. Oh, that. speaking of burning themselves to death, I got to remember that Molotov, damn it. There we go. A little bit of help. Not too shabby. I'm gonna get to this guy eventually, too. Oh, wow. He is surviving. My goodness. Did not want to go down just yet. Okay, let's try to get past him. Get over to this little motherfucker. There we go. Very good. You're already tough enough without having your goddamn protector. I don't know how smart it is to just stay with stuff on the spawn either. I think I've taken damage more often than I've benefited from doing that. I'm gonna try to keep tabs on those little, those tiny little gameplay tweaks, man. That's what makes the difference. We found our boss here, which actually may not be the worst idea in the world to just take this early on, considering how much ammo we've still got left in a lot of our good stuff. Might be worth considering here. I'm gonna try to find a key, maybe a little bit of armor actually too. Ooh, a blank is nice. Blank is very good. There's our shop as well, so there could be armor in there. Let's go have a look at what's going on down this way. There's the potential too that those could be like traps. I should be aware of that. Oh, okay, this is a good opportunity to flip the table. There we go. Yeah, get this set up. Nice. Good defense. Now let's get over here. Perfect. That was beautiful. Love it. Love the execution, baby. I love this speed as well. My god. Okay, here we go. Time to take things a little bit more seriously. I'm gonna get the gamma ray out for this one, actually. Looks like a good opportunity. God damn! Oh! Oh my goodness, that was close. There's another opportunity for that blank. Jeez, that's not what I should be doing. That is a waste of those things. Oh god, alright, let's get this flipped. Try to kill you. The Void Marshal, I suppose, is okay to take out some smaller dudes with. There's another blank, thank god. Oh man, I panicked in that one. I absolutely panicked. Okay, Bird Ray's fine for this. Let's clean it out real quick, like. What the hell are those things? Okay, not too startling. I don't know if I can hit them when they're doing that. I feel like they're deflecting a lot of my hits. Uh, let's see. Maybe doing damage? I can't tell. No, I don't think I am. Damn it. Oh, I had a feeling they were going to hit me too. No, maybe I can just shoot them. No, it looks like I can. All right, well, that was... That was dumb. <laughs> let's, let's move on. Let's ignore that I did such a silly, silly thing. Oh, Molotov. Brilliant. Brilliant plays. Yes! Can I lead it through it again? Probably not. Ah, God, what am I doing? Backing myself into a corner again, jeez. I think I've got a little health somewhere around here. But at any rate, I, I have a shop as well that I'm probably going to end up visiting here. I, I think I might as well continue clearing. Still got ammo just in case I need to utilize something a little bit stronger. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a problem room. Gonna stick with the shotgun. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, shit. I had a feeling at least one point of damage was coming through on this one. This is a good gun. This is a very good gun. The damage is real. I gotta respect that. Okay, ammo would be nice for anything, really. I think I'm gonna go with the wind-up gun, though. Although, you know what? Void Marshal has been nice. I'm gonna take Void Marshal. I'm gonna try to rock this. Probably up until the boss. 
If I can be a little bit more accurate with it, in fact, getting a little bit closer might be... Might be ideal here. Oh my god. That's so annoying. <laughs> it's the worst. Ah, uh, the Isaac equivalent of those little host heads, right? Just knock it off. There we go. There we go. You done? You done? You having fun? Adorable little son of a bitch. Oh, money's looking good as well. I'm feeling... I'm feeling a little bit better here. Feeling like we got a real chance at making something nice happen. Oh, it's this guy again. Okay, so... We've got two boss doors again, and I've also got my shop right here, which I'm probably going to go to now. Because I do want a key for that chest as well, although I've got a decent supply of guns, so maybe I ought to just buy some health or, or armor here. Let's have a look at what his supply is looking like. We've got another... Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and grab both of these. That seems really good. Check this out as well. Ah, see? Okay, now this. This I'm now familiar with, so check this out. I, I, I figured out the the mystery here. So you want to uh, get onto this minecart. You're looking to set yourself up in order to just transfer minecart to minecart here. So you're going to go like this, and you get the little, little set up, and then you're going to go bam. Nice. Ride it all the way around. We're going to look for this one, bounce off the wall, and then set it right there. We're going to go boing. Perfect. And I believe this might be the last one, or it's gonna- oh, it's gonna get us to this one. Okay, here we go. Boom. And one more giant ride to victory. Right? Yeah. Nice. Arcane gunpowder. From the deep. Before the great bullet fell, the Gungeon's original master used this powder in his experiments. The bullet kin still mined from the depths, awaiting the return of their master. So this may... you know what? This might not be what I should have. That's pretty sweet. Although I think my Molotov cocktail just... oh wait, no, there it is. Honestly, maybe I'm better off with my Molotov. Because I don't know what this thing does, and the Molotov has been pretty damn good for me. I might just stick with this. Feel free to let me know if I'm making a terrible mistake there, but I think... I think I'm okay with this decision. And there we go. All right. I didn't really need to do that, actually. I could have just... <laughs> probably should have just taken a teleporter. It's fine. Here we go. Still clearing this floor, I think. I'd like to find a little armor if I can, too. Holy shit. That was freaky. Love that speed, though. This looks good. Poison shot. Oh, baby. These irradiated slugs have a chance to poison any target they touch. That's gorgeous. That's for every gun, too, I imagine. Hell yeah. All right, we've got another chest right there, too. I still got one more key. Or no, I don't have one more key. I thought I bought two, but I only got one. I think I can only afford one as well, unfortunately. So, I'll take it, though. I mean, that's obviously a pretty damn good upgrade. Especially with a gun like this. I mean, jeez. That is looking real nice. Hopefully... Hopefully this is, uh, the sort of stuff that maybe takes us a little bit further down, huh? It gets us past Chamber 3 today. I mean, that alone would be a pretty huge upgrade. There's a half heart as well. Shit, there we go. That makes me feel nice. So are we gonna get- you know what? I'm gonna go here first. This is my first move. I'm gonna get the Gamma Ray out. Oh, shit. Dreadnought! The execution tank. Yeah, baby, okay. This seems pretty straightforward here, but I'm- Oh, God, I should not have ever assume. Holy crap. Okay. So it looks like he may destroy these barriers here. The gamma ray is not working out too well for me. Let's try out the Void Marshal again. I gotta keep my distance as much as I possibly can. Okay, so he spawns little dudes. Probably gonna be a top priority here. Uh oh, that was nearly damaged. We're good, we're good. Range is excellent on this thing. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with this for a while here. Keep the barriers up as- Oh god, as long as I possibly can! Yeah, this is our- this is our game right here. Ride this gravy train to freedom. Holy crap, this is intense. This- that thing is menacing. <laughs> it's really, really intimidating. 
Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's take you out. Probably with the last of my uh, clip there. There we go. And let's get the vertebrate going. Seems like a worthwhile or a worthy successor. Not bad. Not bad. Get that reloaded. Good, good, good. Seems like an opportunity for the Molotov. This is probably going to be the final clip of this gun as well. My goodness, we are really just burning through the ammo here, but it looks like it's nearly going to pay off. Nice. Okay. I like that fleet-footedness, man. The hazmat suit unlocked as well. Sweet. Okay. Good health here. We get the mastery. The third chamber, hegemony credits. And what's this? Super meat gun! Oh, ho, 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 yeah! Oh my god, look at that. That is awesome. A little bit of extra health there as well. Let's just see what's in here. I imagine just the elevator, but it could be something else. Alright, let's go check out what this guy has to say now. I could go to the shop. How much do I have now? 24? I don't think that's enough for a key, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and bounce out here. I'm going to rock the super meat gun as well. I'm curious to see what how effective this truly is. Wish I could do something about that. Maybe we'll get a key from this guy. Who knows? It's another gungeon here. Hail, friend, and well met. What brings you to this gun dungeon looking for the gun, same as everyone? I'm not quite certain what you mean. You must be here to kill your past, correct? Manny says hi. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it, what's your face? I'm ready. It seems my past has caught up with me. Time to kill it. Lochner. Wow! Oh my god, look at the bounce! Okay, I should be rolling. I should absolutely be rolling, but what the hell is this? What is the super meat gun? Oh my god, man! Wow! They just continually bounce around! That's incredible! Oh god, I should blank too. My goodness. What is that insanity? I should not stop firing, first of all. That's my first mistake. Holy shit, the poison shot, too. Wow. The damage is so crazy. Oh, nuts. He didn't quite make it. Hey, buddy. Bested by a disciple of Manny. Humiliating. I guess there really was something to that dodge roll he was always on about. What I don't understand is why the bullets don't hit you. It really looks like they should. <laughs> I guess I'll head back to the breach. All right. Wonderful. Oh, definitely going to refill that. There's a full heart for me. Void Core Assault Rifle. I should read this as well. Made of meat. Holding this gun allows its wielder to move just a little bit faster. Are you kidding me? Before the Void Corps was disbanded by the hegemony of man, they were renowned throughout the sector for their feats on and off the battlefield. Following their dissolution, the famed Void Corps captain known as the Thunderbolt made his way to the gungeon. Well, all right then. That takes care of that. Let's go use this one key I grabbed to unlock this chest as well. That looks pretty sweet. Oh! Oh, yeah! My god! Just give me everything! Every last little bit! I am moving so quick. This is crazy. Alright, I'm ready. I'm good! Bring it on! What do you got? Chamber 4, let's go! Into the hollow. I'm keeping the hegemony rifle out. This looks freaky as shit. What the hell is... It? Ice cubes with spikes on them?! No! Oh, that was... Okay, terrible damage to start off with. I shouldn't... I shouldn't gloat yet. Oh, boy. So these seem like more or less permanent obstacles in the rooms, those giant ice cubes. Oh, okay, that just melts. Wizard shoots off a huge array of bullets. All right, then. Oh, my God, and a massive laser come. What the hell is that? All right, where is that coming from? Giant golden skeleton, I see. You are the problem here. Reload time is actually... Uh, Sort of hefty for this gun, so I think I gotta try to use the full clip a little bit more. Oh, bad damage, jeez. 
I think the fast movement is actually kind of coming back to bite me in a couple of these instances. Die! There we go. Oh, man. What else can we utilize here? I do have the Void Core Assault Rifle. Let's maybe try this out a couple of rounds. It's got a pulse shot, I see. All right. All right, all right. Not too bad. Probably not the greatest gun we've got at our uh, disposal right now. The clip size is tremendous, though. Let's, uh, let's try not to reload it at all, actually. Just never. Never at all, ever. Wow, there's a lot going on in this room. Love the poison shot. There we go, there we go. It's really accurate. Very accurate gun. I ought to utilize it for that. Okay, how much did we even get out of that? Not really that much. Okay, let's get out of here. There we go. Good range, good distance on this one. Great accuracy from range, too. That's really useful. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I also got to remember that I've got this available for whenever it suits my fancy. Whenever I just feel like absolutely mauling everything. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Whoa! Table Tech Rage! Hello. Ancient Technique briefly increases damage whenever a table is flipped. Chapter 2 of the Tabla Sutra. When a table is flipped, does it not feel anger? Does it not feel rage? Understand that feeling, and when you flip the table, be yourself flipped. That is wonderful. The power of the table flip! Yes! Oh, suck on the flippage! What even hit me? What in God's name hit me there? That was a bunch of balls, man! Feel the power! I guarantee you I'm gonna forget about that benefit. Like, almost immediately. I uh, can't use that, unfortunately. Let's just go down here. So far, so kind of good through Chamber 4. I've taken a little bit of damage, but I've learned more about the, the world. About what to expect here. It's probably the most important part of our trip today, honestly. Oh, those things. Uh, those look like problems, yeah. Wow, that's like a homing shot or something. I wonder if I can just shoot it out of the air. It sort of seems like that's the case. I'm using a ton of ammo here, too. Okay, so we cleared out this. Let's go back down this way. Uh, I'm gonna use our... Oh, man, we are running low on ammo here. Let me go with the Gamma Ray for a second or two. Ah, uh, you know what? Now let's do the Wind-Up Gun. Wind-Up Gun's still pretty decent here. Just gotta make sure I'm on the reload! There we go. I'm getting a little bit more worried with each passing room here. This is, uh... Seeming like some dangerous waters. I know that. Come on now. A bee, all oh, the beehive is here. And the orange. Oh, okay. Here's a good opportunity for the gun muncher, actually. So let me go ahead and toss in the sawed off shotgun. Bam, bam, bam. Definitely not going to be using that. And uh, as far as all these are concerned, I think probably the gamma ray, although the void marshal is out of ammo, but the gamma ray. Especially now that we have Poison Shot, Gamma Ray is really not that good. So let's go ahead and dump that off. Come on, Gun Muncher! Looks promising. Buzzkill. Fire Saw Blades. Good, I needed another one of those. Can never have enough guns that fire saw blades. That's my motto. That's how I've always lived my life. School, work, marriage. Could always use saw blades. Oh, this is Half Life style, baby. Gordon Freeman! I cleared that room pretty quick, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the bounce as well. This is, I mean, generally, this seems like the slightly less effective super meat gun. Maybe the discs are a little bit stronger, who knows. Either way, I'm totally fine with it. This is outstanding. I'm getting some good shit this time. I'm feeling really good about that. Oh, bad damage though. I gotta stop backing myself into corners. I think that's like one of my biggest problems. I seem to continually do that to myself. Come on now, man. There we go. I love these room layouts. This is so drastically different from everything we've seen up to this point. Fucking hell! That thing is scary as shit! 
Wow! Oh, that is goofy. Okay, that's taken care of at least. Seems like I move faster than I can actually acquire my casings, which is a really satisfying feeling as well. Maybe I should hang on to these. They seem pretty goddamn effective. This might be a gun worth preserving the ammo on. But it's also really fun to just shoot it. I'm gonna try to find a little bit of health here. I don't like having two out of five potential hearts. Oh god, I rolled into the goddamn wall again. I gotta stop doing that. I wonder if I've got health available in the shop. I hope so. I don't think I saw any, though. Oh, this is handy. That is handy as hell. Alright, still looking for that health. Still looking for damn health drops. That'll do, that'll do. Love getting that off the bounce as well. It's so satisfying. <laughs> I love this gun. I love this gun. I love everything about what's happening to us right now. We're just really not getting the drops we need, unfortunately. Hello, another key opportunity, which could be uh, maybe what we need, actually. We might end up having to come back here. Let's go down this way, though. Have a quick gander. Ooh, that worked pretty damn well. So that's like a freeze bomb, then, I guess. Interesting. That is not the whole room. Okay, let's get, uh, yeah, let's get the budget revolver out, actually. I don't think these guys are really gonna need a ton of attention. There's a little bit more for me. How, how many times? How many times is it gonna be? Really? Is this like that sand level in Sonic where I feel like I'm making progress, but ultimately I'm doing literally nothing? No? Okay, good. I'm glad. Because that level sucked! Okay, maybe time for wind-up gun here. Remember the reloads. Let's, uh, shoot off into the middle. I, I don't think that guy can actually move, so this sort of seems reasonable as a strategy. Oh, God, that was so bad. So bad. Okay, no more silly hits, please. I at least need to stay alive for the boss. And I should probably use something a little bit better here. Let me, uh... Oh, God, I'm moving so damn fast. So damn fast. Oh, shit. All right, uh, let me get out the hegemony rifle, actually. You know what? That's probably pretty good. Honestly, not that great. Okay, I'm gonna go to the shop again. He's gotta have something here. No, he doesn't have anything. He's got a key, which I do need. I could use some ammo as well, but I'm gonna use this key first. Maybe end up with, uh... Something to benefit me here. Maybe I end up with a passive bonus to health or armor or something like that from this chest. Worth it to see, in my opinion. Although, I think we might actually have a blue chest somewhere, and I think it's gonna be over here. And... The gamer in me... Tells me that blue is worth more than green. Speed up! I didn't really need that. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not looking to be faster at the moment, thanks. Oh my god, well, okay then. That is certainly interesting. This might come back to bite me, honestly. I'm a little worried about how fast I'm moving right now, and I imagine you gotta fly in order to get across that, so unfortunately... Not gonna happen for us here. Uh, I think we might have gotten through the whole floor here, though. Yeah, looks like we did. Well, sadly, not a ton of health here. We do have two blanks, though, and the buzzkill. Let's go to Super Meat Gun first. And then probably go to Buzzkill next. Don't be afraid to use the blanks, but I have no idea what this is. Oh, shit! Kill pillars! The ultimate Stonehenge! The kill pillars! God damn, that was terrifying! What the fuck? Ow! Ow, oh God, don't kill me! I'm doing a ton of damage to them, actually. Oh, my God. Am I going to kill them all? Where's the last one? Oh, my God, kill it. Oh, no, God. Oh, jeez, that was so close. With a little bit more health, I might have been able to make it through that. But the fucking super meat gun was so good for that fight. It just tore through him. Wow.
Oh, well, okay. Well, thanks very much for watching that episode of Gungeon. That was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did as well. Appreciate that a lot. My name is Barrel. See you next time.